Okay, I started to filming and Sparky right off the bat. I don't know what his trouble is. He was content. What seems to be wrong, Sparky? Fill me in. What's wrong, huh? Tell me what is wrong. Why is it that you don't like me filming? You don't like me messing with your habitat. It really bugs you. You think I'm going to come here and mess with things, don't you? And you're not going to put up with it. Especially when it's almost time for bedtime. He will get absolutely mad. So, while I'm here, I will show you um, the... Um, this is a humidity gauge. <laughs> it's a humidity gauge and it is a temperature gauge. So, uh, with a large terrarium, you can get away with some higher temperatures in areas. I'm afraid to recommend anything any more than 70 uh, on the cool end and 80 on the warm end because when you're dealing with a tote that's like 42 inches by um, let's see 21 by 16 and a half inches high uh, it can easily overheat so I'm afraid to say anything more than 70 cool in and 80 warm end um, so Anyway, I will show you uh, how I've got this situated. There is, from where Sparky's at, and on up here is a foot. And we, then this metal, and this is what I like better. Now, it's four feet, and the width of this terrarium is three feet. So it comes out over uh, on each end, which is good. So then you can take and you can situate your UVA, UVB fixture with your, this one isn't turned on because uh, Sparky don't hang out too much on, on this, um, this area right here. So I'm going to have turned it on right now. But um, I recommend the Repta 10. Reptisun 10 in this slimline fixture and then if you have this metal uh, shelving that you can get at Lowe's it, it comes in a box and there's like four of them and this I recommend better than that mesh top that you get at a reptile place because and then I'll show you it um, but I uh, I recommend the, the bare bone necessity things is you want a water dish that is big enough that your turtle can get in and that the water comes up about halfway the shell, the carpus, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, that they can, they can soak in. It's big enough where they can soak, they can go to the bathroom. So you need the water dish, you want to have uh, flat rocks. And the reason for the flat rocks is that they are like a basking area. Now, like I have these emitters, and you want you got to have a dome to put the emitter in. And uh, if you don't have the emitter, you can put like a 60 watt bulb. I'm not recommending more than 60 watt bulb because now we're talking a small terrarium. So if you're going to go with an emitter, 60 watt emitter, or 60 watt bulb, the 10, um, the rep to 10, uh, UV, uh, UVA, UVB, uh, you want a, uh, you want like a rough rock for them to eat on, you want a uh, rock for them to bask on, and <laughs> Sparky. Uh, so another thing, some people will use like silk. Uh, like a silk plant in there. I don't recommend that. I don't think that's such a great idea. It would be great if you could put a small, you know, we're talking a small area now. If you can put like a, a small spider plant in, uh, not something big like this because this is a large terrarium. Now see, with a large terrarium, then uh, Sparky, uh, right here, I have this 60 watt emitter right over this uh, kind of a round rock. From time to time, he'll go on there and see it's it's fine if if it's 90. Uh, it's 90 might sound hot, but if you got a big terrarium, a lot of cool areas, 
when you touch uh, and you feel it at 90 with the temperature gun, I think the temperature gun is so handy, it will feel warm, but it won't feel hot. See, that's the thing. You do not want to let these rocks get hot and burn your turtle. You want to make sure they're just warm, that you can take and you can hold your hand on there, and that it's not too warm. Uh, but Sparky will go on here from time to time when it's like 90, and even it's been a little above that. Uh, and it's still, it's just warm to the touch. It's not hot. And the same with the water dish. You just want that chill off the water dish. Just, just cool water. Not cold, not hot, but just cool. Um, so the, the, the big issue is the substrate. That is one of the big issues and the UVA, UVB. You want to make sure um, that they do have the UVA, UVB, the emitter, the slim line, like I said, uh, and the dome, um, and the eco earth of the beta beast, and the um, uh, gauges uh, to give you an idea with the heat. Uh, the now I don't much look at these temperature gauges anymore since I have a temperature gun, um, but you know because I'll just go, I'll test the water, and I'll just take that gun, and I have it on one of my other videos. Uh, that I can just go around with it really quick and get an idea of how the temperatures and plus Sparky He will let me know if he's not satisfied. He'll let me know Ahead of time if it's going to be a sunny day if he thinks that it's going to be a little warmer than he wants He lets me know right off the bat So spark, what do you say? Um, I don't know if I've already I don't know what I've uh, already done here, but uh, see, here's this mesh. Here's this mesh that you can get at uh, a reptile place. But the only thing is, if I turn this around, now the only way you can use this, you can use it by letting it stick out on each side like this. And then you can put your uh, uh, emitter and your, or a light bulb, 60 watt bulb and your uh, fluorescent bulb, you can put it right on top of here, but I just don't think it goes through this mesh as good as what it does, what I just showed you with the shelf thing. But this is Sparky's Traveling Tote, 42 by um, 21 by 16 and a half, uh, rough neck, rubber, rubber made uh, uh, tote. And uh, this has the Eco Earth and it has um, some leaves in here and it has some sphagnum moss. And then I take a log. This is not the best in the world, but you know, it's, it's pretty small. This is what you want to make sure that you have a big enough, um, a big enough uh, habitat, a wooden habitat that they can get down in. And if you end up messing up and not getting a bigger, a big enough one, you can take and put rocks on each side to raise it some and then give them a little dip in there where they can get down in there and you can make it work. Uh, but when you're talking a smaller habitat, um, you don't really have a whole lot of room to work with. Uh, but these totes, um, when we travel, Sparky does do well. Uh, in these, but the thing is traveling with a turtle it really puts them at risk um, You know like if you would end up putting them in this tote and um, it, It's just too easy for them to get hurt. You can't have anything in here you would have to uh, have them secured in a way where there would be a buffer zone around the sides and I mean Sparky is just going crazy from me filming. I, I just I don't understand it. What's wrong Spark? What's wrong? You want to go to bed? Is that the whole story? You want to go night night? Huh? I think that's what the story is. I'm just going to get these lights out and let him go to bed. I think he has had, he is very upset, and he wasn't upset, he was not upset when I first come out. What is wrong, Sparky? What is wrong, huh? You tell me what your story is. I'm going to put you to bed. Night, night.